The Gourmand Film Company, French pronunciation, OM, often shorted to Gourmand, is a French mini major film studio founded by the engineer turned inventor Leon Gourmand, 1864 to 1946, in 1895. It is the first and oldest film company in the world, founded before other studios such as Pathé founded in 1896, Titanus 1904, Nordisk Film 1906, Universal and Paramount both founded in 1912 the company headquarters are in newly sur seine France, Gourmand predominantly produces, co-produces, and distributes films, and in 2011, 95% of Gourmand's consumption consolidated revenues came from the film division. The company is increasingly becoming a TV series producer with its new American subsidiary Gourmand International Television as well as its existing French production features. Gourmand is run by Nicolas Sidou, President, Sidoni Dumas, General Director, and Christophe Riandi, Deputy General Director. Topic History Originally dealing in photographic apparatus, the company began producing short films in 1897 to promote its make of camera projector. Leon Gorman's secretary Alice Guy Blaché became the motion picture industry's first female director and she went on to become the head of production of the Gorman Film Studio from 1897 to 1907. From 1905 to 1914, its site Elgay Studios from the normal French pronunciation of the founders' initials LG at La Villette, France, were the largest in the world. Gourmand began producing full-length feature films in 1908. The company manufactured its own equipment and mass-produced films until 1907, when Louis Fuelade became the artistic director of Gourmand. When World War I broke out, he was replaced by Leonce Perret, who continued his career in the United States a few years later. Gourmand opened foreign offices and acquired the theatre chain Gourmand British, which later notably produced several films directed by Alfred Hitchcock, such as The 39 Steps and The Lady Vanishes. Along with its competitor Pathé Frère, Gourmand dominated the motion picture industry in Europe until the outbreak of World War I in 1914. Following World War I, Gourmand suffered economic losses due to increased competition from American Hollywood productions. In 1925, the studio's output had decreased to only three films. In addition, Gourmand was unable to keep pace with the cost of technological changes e.g., the advent of sound movies. Struck by mounting debts in the early 1930s and the effects of the Great Depression, Gourmand declared bankruptcy in 1935. In 1937, the studio ceased production and operated only as a theater and distribution company. The company was purchased by the French corporation Avis in 1938, renamed Société Nouvelle des Établissements Gourmand, and reopened its film production studio. During the later years of World War II, Gourmand was affected by the financial ruin of France's economy as well as the physical destruction of its facilities. The company ceased production until 1947. However, the global interest in French New Wave films in the 1950s, as well as the permissiveness within French films e.g., nudity, allowed French productions to successfully compete against an American cinema that was still burdened by conservative moral codes. The period was to see the return to prominence of Gourmand Studios. In 1975, media tycoon and French old money heir multi millionaire Nicolas Sidou started managing Gourmand. He personally owned 60% of the shares and 70% of the votes. 
On February 2, 2000, Philippe Binant, technical manager of Digital Cinema Project at Gourmet, realized the first digital cinema projection in Europe with the Texas Instruments prototype projector. From 1993 to early 2004, Gourmet and Disney made a partnership for producing films for theater distribution. In 2001, Gourmet spun off the cinema division into a joint venture with Pathé since known as Les Cinéna's Gourmet Pathé. Gourmet owned a 34% stake in the entity, which controls a large cinema network in France, Switzerland, and the Netherlands. As of 2011, this stake was worth €214 million. Euros. In 2004, Gourmet continued its development with Pathé to set up another joint venture, Gourmet Pathé Archives. Gourmet owns 57.5% of this entity, which contains newsreels, documentaries, and silent movies from the 20th and 21st centuries. From early 2004 to 2007, the company had a partnership with Sony for producing films and for theater and DVD distribution worldwide. And for many years, Gourmet's home video division was a joint venture with Sony Pictures. Currently, Gourmet distributes its films through Paramount Home Media Distribution on Video in France. At the end of 2007, Gourmet took over the French animation studio Alphanim for €25 million Euros and renamed it Gourmet Alphanim. As of 2013, it is known as Gourmet Animation. On December 16, 2010, Gourmet acquired a 37.48% stake in the share capital of the Legend Company and its subsidiaries for €6.6 .6 million. Euros. Legend is a full-length film and television series production and distribution company managed by Alan Goldman. As of 2011, the Legend stake is worth €6.3 million. Euros. 2011 was also the year that Gourmet opened its Gourmet International Television Division in Los Angeles, U.S. In 2011, Gourmet co produced and distributed Intouchables became France's highest grossing movie of all time. The international release of Intouchables was equally successful, trumping previous international blockbusters such as Harry Potter and Transporters in Germany. Intouchables is the highest grossing foreign language movie any language other than English beating the previous record of $275 million by the Japanese Spirited Away. The film was a major catalyst for Gourmet boosting fourth quarter 2011 cinema sales to €47.9 million, Euros, up 651% year-on-year. The film's success turned a half-year 2011 loss to a record annual €26 million Euros profit. Intouchables currently has a box office of $361 million. In 2012, Gourmet acquired the production company Nouvelles Editions de Films for €3.1 million. Euros. The company was previously run and created by cinema legend Louis Mal. As part of the acquisition, Gourmet now owns the entire Mal collection, including Ascensor Pour Lechefard, Atlantic City, and Au Revoir, Les Enfants. In February 2012, Gourmet restarted their television division that was defunct for about 10 years. On May 2, 2016, according to Deadline Hollywood, Gourmet teamed up with Lionsgate and seven other international companies to launch the Global Gate Entertainment Consortium. Global Gate will produce and distribute local language films in markets around the world. Lionsgate said Monday it has partnered with international entertainment executives Paul Presberger, William Pfeiffer and Clifford Werber to launch Global Gate. On March 1, 2017, Gourmet sold its 34% stake in Les Sinenas Gourmet Pathé to Pathé for $400 million to focus on production. In January 2018, it was announced that the company's first office in Cologne is scheduled for opening in July 2018. The office is set to focus on development and production of premiere drama programming, according to film producer and new manager Sabine DeMart. Topic. 
Topic: Production. Gourmet currently has 938 films in its catalog, most of which are in the French language. There are, however, some exceptions, such as Luc Besson's The Fifth Element, 1997. Among the most notable films produced by Gourmet are the serials Judex 1916 and Phantomus 1913, the comic Onesime series, starring Ernest Bourbon, and the comic Bebe series, starring five-year-old René Darry. The two biggest films that Gourmet owns the rights of are Jean-Marie Poiré's Les Visiteurs, with a box office of $98 million, and the 2011 blockbuster Intouchables by Olivier Nakache and Eric Toledano, with a box office of $427 million. Directors such as Abel Gantz and the early animator Emile Cole worked for the studio at one time or another. The company has also produced television shows, including seven animated series, Highlander, The Animated Series, Space Goofs, The Magician, Dragon Flies, F is for Family, and Sky Dancers the second and third are based on their respective toy lines, and the very popular Oggy and the Cockroaches. The company also began production in its American unit Gourmet International Television on two series, Hannibal and Hemlock Grove. <laughs> <laughs> Corporate structure Cine Par is a majority shareholder with 69.92% of the voting rights. This entity is controlled by CEO Nicholas Sidhu. The other private shareholders are First Eagle Investment Management, Bolloré, and Group Industrial Marcel Dassault. The company has a free float of 416,784 shares, which represents 9.75% of the capital and 5.99% of the voting rights. Topic: <laughs> Latest financial information. In the first half of 2012, Gourmet recorded a profit of €7.7 .7 million, Euros, which reversed the €0.6 million Euros loss from the first half of 2011. The profit was driven by a 49% increase in revenue, which reached €50.1 million. Euros. The company cited the continued effects of Intouchables, which increased international revenues by 153%. Gourmet's current market capitalization is 164 million euros. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Logo. Leon Gorman selected the Oxi Daisy as the company logo to pay homage to his mother, whose first name was Marguerite Daisy. Through the decades the logo has been redesigned several times, but the Daisy has always remained present, even though its significance has been largely forgotten. <laughs>